good to see you. Good y'all, it's your boy, Kyrillis is back with the video. I got a treat for y'all today. Yeah, well, it's not really a treat for me, but it's a treat for y'all. Ah, uh, good times, what a, what a great show good times was, man. I remember when I was growing up in Oakland, my mom, we used to always uh, sit down and watch the show with, you know, along with Martin and the Steve Harvey show and Family Matters and what's the, oh, the My Wife and Kids uh, you know, me and my mom, we used to love watching these fucking shows. And I heard that a uh, reboot was coming. I was like, oh, okay, well, this could be all right. And then uh, I learned that it's this. I have important news. Yep. Oh, yes. The state call and <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. I want to show y'all. So wait. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to, I'm going to, we're going to react to it. But why does the dad, why is the dad's lips like that? Why, uh, why is their lips so damn big? Call and they want to cut you a disability check for your face. Hold up. You can get paid for that? Is that JB Smooth? This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. Okay. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dummy now? Ha <laughs> That's so funny. Shit. Me for not wearing a condom. Woo! Netflix, why? It all started with my grandfather, James Evans. Okay. My job as the man of this house is to take care of this family. James no Evans. Was well, this like a let you know, sequel? Take good care of Gray. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Listen, how, how is this good times? How is this good times? Does this remind you of good times? Let me know. Quan. His name is Quan. Is that Steph Curry? Steph Curry. The fuck? Seth MacFarlane. Oh, God. <laughs> Suggest to help repeating the 10th grade, grade. only fans let me see what kind of feet you working with i was actually watching uh a good video uh for my nigga high c shout out to high c and i just realized that this teacher asked an underage child to take off their shoes and see their feet <sighs> that's all i want to say back to the video we're talking about only fans and a good times reboot animated show what the is this velma is this Velma? Dear Black, Heavenly Father. Okay, well, Jesus is Black. Redeemer. Colored Redeemer. If you could just help us. I mean, Jesus is Black, so. What the f? Is that Jesus? What is going on? At least they ain't got that drug dealing baby under my no more. Is that a baby dealing drugs? What does this have to do with good times? My mouth ready for some milk right now. What type of nigga tree is this? Dalvin, why are you so breast obsessed? Is this baby? Is this baby's kids? Baby, I can't get no more childs than that. I'm not having a good time watching this. What the fuck is this? Is this a joke? Is this? Listen, April Fool's Day is just a few days away. <laughs> Uh, the guns and drugs on the streets. Okay, that's not what the original Good Times was about. I mean, I, I get the message, but like, this is not how you do it. But the animation is terrible. The, an the art style could work, but the animation is dog shit. What is this about? Like, like this isn't Good Times. Good Times is about a lower class African American family. That is not ghetto or ratchet. That is just trying to make a living and is trying to get by. A bunch of good people. That's pretty much what the main premise of Good Times is. The dad is a good man. The mother is a great mom. Dino Mike Jr., he's the oldest. He's the funny one. The daughter is the smart one. I mean, like, the son is just, you know, to me, I would like the son a lot because I related to him. What is, what is this about? This isn't good times. This is a fucking insult. This is an insult to black culture. This is somehow a like this is like I, listen I, and y'all niggas waited. Y'all waited till February is over to post this shit. Steph Curry, Seth MacFarlane. Mm. All y'all need your asses whoop. Whoever invited and we got we showing titties, drugs, money. We're just as good as the evidence of old. No. No, don't you ever say that. You're not as good as the previous Evans family, and this is not funny. This is a joke. Netflix, damn you. 
You canceled inside job for this? Really? Instead of getting inside job another season, you know, a decent show, you instead say, hmm, let's go take a good black uh, show from back in the day, bring it back, turn it into an adult comedy, put a bunch of retro, ghetto, ratchet, niggatry in it, and release it to the public. Who wrote this? The Vela writers? But the truth is, we're the Evans of new. No, you're not. You're, you're not new. You look like money. What, what does this have to do with good times? Why are they running through a fucking high-tech hallway? Bitch, you look like money. This could have been a great show, but you fucked it up. About the struggle. We're black. It'll be here tomorrow. What? No. Well, yeah, being black is a struggle. I agree with that. But I love being black. I wouldn't change it for the world. Fuck it. <laughs> Isn't good times, like, if you get past the struggle, you'll become stronger? I don't know, bro. This this shit's fucking with my mind. Oh, God, there's more. Little baby? The baby. Too many babies around his crib. Why are the babies talking? And they're shooting guns. April 12th. Well, I guess that's the day the world's going to end. <laughs> this is fucking complete garbage. Who in the hell? Seth MacFarlane and Stephen Curry. Seth Mc... Steph Curry, you're black. You a light skin. You know how I feel about light skins, but you're still black. You know Joe Aswell for even being involved with this show. No, this is not... When I think of good times, I don't think of talking that's fucking babies. I, I don't know why does he have this hairstyle. Why can't he just have an afro? The jokes aren't funny. The animation is terrible. A bunch of ghetto niggatry going on in this show. This is the type of show that the boondocks would make fun of. I swear to God. This feels like a parody. This feels like something that Uncle Ruckus will look at and damn to hell. And you know what? I agree with them. The Evans of New. They make dynamite. This showing titties, drug sex. This is totally good times, right? No. What a fucking abomination. Netflix, you should be ashamed of your damn self. The only reason why I was going to get a Netflix subscription was because Raw, WWE Raw, was coming to Netflix in January. Now I'm rethinking. I might have to use my websites with that. I'm lost. And I also got some <clears throat> more interesting information. The creators of Good Time, Eric Monty and Mike Evans, these guys created Good Times, as you can see right here. Eric Monty and Mike Evans. Eric Monty is still alive, and Mike Evans Sally has passed away. But one of the creators is still alive, and he has said, the families of Eric Monty and Mike Evans do not support or grant permission, or granted permission, for the animated reboot of Good Times. Or blessing the new property. So this shit is literally a complete insult. This is not Good Times. This is just this is a fucking cash grab. Because they think the modern fucking generation of black folks like this shit my current my generation no you are bastardizing and destroying the legacy of an excuse my french i'm sorry of an awesome legend of a legendary african-american show why did you do this this is disrespectful every black person i see in the show got big lips the black women are fucking half naked doing drugs shooting guns money perpetuating this stupid ass garbage no this is disrespectful to black culture you should be a shame of your damn self this isn't good times this is a terrible time everything on the surface those rights are very much there uh very much real any reboot or recreation of good times we need to agree we need to be paid we need to license it off they didn't talk to the families they didn't even interact with them. They just went ahead and did this garbage without the blessing of the creator and his family. Uh, and that is with any recreation. Nasty. Straight okay. fucking nasty. Straight nasty, man. I can't believe they did I this mean, shit. I can't believe they did this shit. You got me fucked up, Netflix. Fuck this show. Will I review it? I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs> this looks Velma levels of bad. And y'all know how much I hated fucking Velma. I'll think about it. Um, I have been subjecting myself to torture for these past two years. I've been doing YouTube, so fuck it, man. Why not, right? You know, why not? Let's let's indulge in some garbage.
Second channel, link in the description on my Twitch. Road to 10,000 subscribers. Like, subscribe, favorite. Let's get up to 30 likes. I'm pretty sure y'all can manage that. Make sure to comment as well. Just leave a comment. I don't give a fuck what you say. Just as long as it ain't nothing stupid. Leave a comment so YouTube can start pushing my shit again. I mean, they kind of are, but you know. <laughs> I'm out. I'm about to go watch me some. I'm about to go watch me some solo leveling. Fuck this trash. It's the outro.